So uh, if you've watched, I'm sorry uh, that you've watched this little uh, bit of uh, nonsense. I've uh, done a whole lot of work, got my hands dirty, got my jeans dirty, uh, and wound up at a net zero. Well, I have put the brakes on. I have not been driving very much. Normally, I don't drive a whole lot anyway, uh, but I have really been limiting my driving the last few days because it is now time to put some brakes on my van. Uh, I've been needing some front brakes. I've been putting it off for a little while because, uh, well, they're expensive. Uh, and actually, when I originally looked at ordering some front brakes and rotors, uh, the two things that I need on this van, uh, the parts were out of stock. Parts were out of stock for almost everything for uh, this Ram ProMaster City. And now parts are available, and so I went ahead and ordered some. I uh, am not the most mechanically minded person, uh, but I have done front brakes on vehicles in the past. It's been quite a while. Uh, I do have a friend that's going to help me, and uh, so hopefully it'll just be moral support. Uh, hopefully I won't end up having any real trouble, but we'll see. It'll be nice to have somebody that's a little, at least a little bit more mechanically minded than I am. So I'm here at my mobile garage space, which is Home Depot, and I have high hopes that this will go smoothly. So while I'm finishing off my coffee this morning, I'll show you the parts that I ordered. Uh, so I've got brake pads themselves, and these are aftermarket brake pads, but they seem to be pretty decent quality ones. I did a little bit of research on brake parts and all, so these are made by Centric, and uh, probably not the ones I would have bought if money were no object, but they seem to be really well rated. And these are ceramic brake pads, which are what the uh, van came with originally. So I'm putting, even though they're not the original make of brake parts, they are the same type of brakes. And ceramic seems to be the best for uh, just overall wearability and use and low dust and just kind of all around uh, the best choice for brakes so I want to keep the same ones that way and then the big things are these are heavy uh, these are brake rotors and these are the things that uh, kind of had me a little bit perplexed for a while because uh, these are very expensive ex extremely expensive um, I did some checking and uh, seemed like uh, all the local parts stores around, so AutoZone and O'Reilly's and all, all of that, uh, they were well over $100 a piece for these. And if I were going to get them from the dealer, they were going to be, I think, a little over $200 a piece. So I realized I couldn't afford to do that. So I got online and found... Uh, all these from Rock Auto, and this is actually a brake kit, a front brake kit, and you can order them that way so that everything is matched up and you don't have to think about uh, ordering little extra things. Not only a better deal, but it just was a little easier that I don't have to think about too much. Everything should be here, should be everything that I need just to put, put these on the van and be off and running. Price of them was about $118. They were the second cheapest brake uh, kit set that uh, Rock Auto was selling. The cheapest brake kit didn't seem to be very well rated, uh, but these were, so that's why I went with these. So about $118. Uh, did have to pay for shipping. I had them sent to a FedEx office a store. Rock Auto ships with FedEx, and so I just had them shipped to a FedEx office store. They used to call them Kinkos, uh, and that doesn't cost any more money. So I just picked one in the place that I was going to be closest to, and uh, that worked out really well. And uh, so now I need to finish my coffee, and oh, I need to do one other thing. I have this nice down jacket that I've been wearing lately from REI. Uh, I don't want to wear this when I'm doing my brake job, so I need to uh, get down in my work clothes and get out my work jacket. And I also need to go into Home Depot and uh, 
buy some brake parts cleaner. Well, right after I finish my coffee. Okay, I got my brake parts cleaner. This is important because the uh, the rotors here. Oh, why do I keep picking these up? Uh, <laughs> I should just move the camera down instead of keeping picking these up. Anyway, uh, the rotors here are coated with some oil to keep them from getting rusty in transits and while they sit on the on the uh, stockroom shelves. So uh, once once you get these installed, you got to clean them off really well before you get the brake pads stuck to them. Otherwise, you can get some oil on your brake pads and cause a little bit of an issue uh, for a few miles. So we don't want that. So this is cheap. It was less than $4 for this can. And so it's kind of a nice thing to do. Although in the past, I've used uh, rubbing alcohol just because it was what I had on hand. Uh, but brake parts cleaner, is the proper way to do it. And then now I just am getting out the rest of my tools. This, this is not an ideal day because it's so windy, but uh, what I'm doing here is I've parked the van up next to this curb so that once I get the van on the jack, uh, if things shift or anything, uh, it's not gonna roll off the jack and crush something like me. So little safety step there, taking advantage of the curb here. Okay, I'm glad my buddy is here to help me because I've run into a little problem. I found that I need a special uh, bit to get a bolt off and I went, my buddy took me down and I went and bought these uh, thinking that this was the right size after doing a little research on YouTube and Google and all and these don't appear to be the right size. So now I've got a little bit of an issue as to what I need to do at this point. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, these don't fit for the little bolt, so uh, now I just need to decide, do I put it all back together again and try this another day or what? I'm not really sure. So since I don't have the right bit to get those two bolts off that I need, uh, just taking that in mind, I'm just gonna put this back together. And because these pads have a little bit of life left on them. I'm not too worried about that. I, I need to replace these at some point, so I'll just have to figure it out uh, how I'm gonna take care of this. This is the first set of brakes that has had me stumped. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping to uh, be done with this and making some lunch and some coffee. I've only had one cup of coffee. No, no, I have, I've had two cups of coffee today. I forgot, I made two cups this morning. Uh, so I'm on track for coffee, but uh, not for breaks being done. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, this is a bit of a dilemma for me, not because I don't think I'll figure out the, the socket that I need, but uh, I was hoping to just to show that, hey, you can do your own work and it's really easy, look. Uh, but that hasn't been the case, has it? <laughs> So I think I'm going to go over to the Chrysler dealer and talk to them, see if they'll give me some helpful suggestions. Uh, I'm sure they know what socket it is. Uh, maybe it's a proprietary socket. I, you know, it could be. Um, so I'll do that. And then uh, probably in the meantime, uh, <laughs> I'm sure people are going to give me lots and lots of suggestions on where I should look uh, for uh, advice on this. So I've, I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I've, I've spent uh, just Googling, trying to figure out the answer. Uh, it all leads me back to the socket that I just bought here at O'Reilly's. So that's why I'm a little confused. So you probably don't need to send me any uh, information about, you know, places to look on Google. I've, I've probably already found all of the information that is on Google. Uh, so far and I just want to remind people that I, I don't allow links on my video here so if you're gonna send me a link to a video that gets deleted before I before I, I even see it so I won't even see those so don't bother doing that either um, if you are a mechanic and have a good idea I would certainly like to hear from you so yeah hopefully I can find a Jeep or a Ram mechanic and uh, they'll give me an idea and then I'll get this finished off 
uh, these are the funny little things that happen and uh, I've, I've replaced lots of brakes in the past. Uh, this is the first that has given me any sort of trouble whatsoever. So um, anyway, we'll get it figured out and uh, a little bit of a bummer because I don't really want to use this footage, but I figure I might as well just in case there is a Ram mechanic out there or Jeep mechanic that has an idea. So that's why this is going up uh, and I'll get it figured out eventually. I'm not worried about it at all. Just it's just one of those things that you that you uh, deal with when you are working on your own vehicle. So uh, if you've watched, I'm sorry uh, that you've watched this little uh, bit of uh, nonsense. I've uh, done a whole lot of work, got my hands dirty, got my jeans dirty, probably my T-shirt too, yeah, uh, and wound up at a net zero. Uh, we'll pick this up again someday. Hopefully soon. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.